All right, we are back with the Deathmat Deathmate cards. You didn't say welcome. Hello, welcome to Vanguard Hippopotamus. This is just the same night. Yeah, like literally a few seconds later. Yeah, we're not. We're we got not a lot of cards to still look through, but yeah, we're not actually going to do the second half. Like later on, we're just going to record all of it now, just in the form of two videos. First one will probably go. Well, it's not even night. It's it's three forty seven in the afternoon. But it could I mean, be today. It could be tomorrow morning. Actually, it looks like the sun is out. It was dark before because it was raining. But oh yeah, it was junk outside. But now it's good. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Let's just do this because huh? what the uh, hell? Oh yeah. Uh, like I okay. said, the uh, I can throw those. Don't need those. No, no. Those are one oh nine and one ten. That's 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 okay with me. No, no, it's not. We're keeping the checklist cards, Noel. Gah. Yeah, but we Gah. don't need to show checklists. Well, we're That's not going to throw them away either, though. Anyways, if you last remembered, we were looking at a battle commencing between cyborgs and the hard cats. The PSI borgs. Anyways, it's back to back. You know, because the hard cat members are outnumbered. Oh, and I check. I googled the actual acronym, and I couldn't find anything. But maybe I should. Maybe we should look for more than like five seconds between our videos. Probably, but at least we got a. Yeah, but first one is going to go up probably tonight, <clears throat> and this one will probably go up tomorrow. Yeah, I can imagine that. So on Sunday the fourteenth. Check out this Doctor Manhattan bro. Look at this Doctor Manhattan looking bro in the suit. Kind of green. Screening out of existence here. I thought you were going to say he was just green. It's like, that is not green. No. It's like a kind of bluish, yeah, whitish he's, he's green. He's bluish, but he's also wearing a suit. I don't think Dr. Manhattan can even wear clothes. Which is kind of weird, but... Probably shouldn't even be in the same room with Dr. Manhattan. I'm pretty sure the dude's radioactive. Yeah, that wouldn't surprise you know, me. You because he's named after the Manhattan Project. Oh my god, he is. Did you really just realize that? I never thought about it before. I thought he was, like, named after the friggin' city. Because there was a city called Manhattan. No, it's a, it's a part of New York City. It's not its own place. It's, it's not? No. Okay, so here's the art of the... Slender Lady, who I thought had long arms. It's nice to get a fuller picture of it than that small one. Soft care. Sorry, I wanted a soda. No, it's all, it's all good. We're just looking at cards. Yeah, that's, that's what we do on this channel. <laughs> I'd like an idea of what this room is about, because she's controlling this machine. Is it anything like the Danger Room in X-Men, where it just, like, sends, like, physical slash holograph, hologram enemies at you to fight? This reminds me more of Xavier's brain room. I mean, it's they're in the same building. Yeah, that's true. Welcome to the brain room. I think she's keeping track of, like, other stuff, though. Ah, her superpower is keeping track of other people. Oh. Uh -huh. That is the worst superpower. Like, what the hell? It, they all stuck and whatnot. No, like... Oh, are these the cyborgs, then? Yeah, those must be. Ah, the only way to defeat them, punching them hey. through the chest. Hey, you get away stomach. from those bananas. Avery? Hey, those aren't your bananas. They taste different than normal. Stop eating the bananas, they aren't yours. He's like eating the crap off the bottom of one of the peels. Here, come here. Like, I can grab him. Come here, boy. Ah, ah come here. Come here. Brain pop. As cool as that sounds. He's not popping his brain. He's literally punching through the dude's chest. Maybe that's where their brains are, Noel. Maybe that's why they're called cyborgs, because their brains are inside their torsos. Oh, man. Inside their torsos. Ta hey. That takes some real brain power. Anyways, Talat stabbed another person to death with her swords. This guy... Oh, shit. This guy got ripped in half. Oh. We'll get there in a minute. Flatline. Because, you know, she's still murdering people. Oh, I thought that was her name. It's like, that's a cool name for, uh... Actually, oh, it's her. Line. Yeah, it's Zealot again. But, uh... Zealot is a weird name for a character that uses swords, because isn't a Zealot just, like, somebody who's really crazy about their religion? I'm pretty sure. 
And so what? This guy's I don't also know these characters, so I have no idea if that even has anything to do with her character. All, I mean, she's got like markings on her face, which probably cool. Means that something. could just be freaking face paint. <clears throat> it probably is. But yeah, she's part of a, the assassin group. Um, since when Coda? is since when is being an assassin a religion? <laughs> the religion of assassins. The League of Assassins, if you will. <laughs> the I, League of Shadows. Oh my God. You were right. Holy shit! Oh well. Look how strong I am. Well, Ooh. he gets he gets it in the next pick in the next card. So spoilers, bro. <laughs> I mean, let's be real. You should already be done with this one. Okay. Okay. Anyways, look at him. Is there another one attached? Yep, there is. Rick. Oh yeah. Oh. There we go. Set that off to the side. Look at this guy getting hammered by probably bullets again and figure out what's going on. Inside out. All right. Looks like some of these super people are being turned inside out. Yeah, it's kind of, uh, it's not looking good for the people uh, against the... Oh, okay. People are making their the, outsides These are the hard cat people. Cool. It still doesn't explain who they are, though. It's, it's just like an organization, but they are being murdered by the... Cyborgs. The PSI Borgs. Y you think I would remember the name. PSI Borgs. Really... PSI Borgs. Oh! What? There's Zelda again. Oh my god, she's missing parts of her leg. Holy shit. Is she going to make it out of this? Let's find out. Dude, they're the hardcore. What? Apparently that's what the name is, or... Yeah, because they're wearing the same outfits. All right. Huh. Mm. Yeah, I don't... The, maybe... the cards have been saying cats, but that's also like an acronym. Like C-A-T-S? Yeah. Yeah, well... But but that's... Va well, Valiant, Com Valiant Comics Daybase says hardcore. Yeah. So even the freaking cover says hardcore, I mean, so I don't fair, know the... why it says that. But the core could be the C in the cats part. If that... Where's the A, T, and S, though? I don't know, like agency of why wouldn't terrorism that... stoppers? Why wouldn't... <laughs> Are they the good guys, though? I don't know. I, I've never read any of these I comics. I mean, it says so they're I... a combat unit. <laughs> They'd probably find something better to say than terrorism stoppers. I mean, terrorism stoppers sounds like a great name for, like, an <laughs> anti-terrorism uh, task force or something. Ooh, flying people. Ugh, I bet they're using magic. People. Ugh. Gross. Nasty. Ugh. Dark Bayou? It, it's spelled the same way that Master Dark's name is, though, so... Oh! It's Master Dark live. and his sister. I'm stupid. So, yeah, he can just naturally fly, I guess. Oh, he's wearing clothes. Oh, we should have recognized his stupid tattoos or whatever the hell those are. And, and the ponytail, I guess. Wait, his sister... Has so why are they? Hair. Oh wait, so was that Ma that was Master Dark in the suit then? That looked like Doctor Manhattan. That makes sense. So are they I just th like freaking born with these stupid ass tattoos, or I don't know, unless if they're about to go to war like a bunch of badasses. Mm. Okay, so Hardcore's alignment is neutral, so they're not heroes. They're just mercenaries, from the sound of it. Oh. Huh. So if you pay, if the bad guys pay them right, they might even work for them. I don't know why I thought this was on a different planet. It's literally Louisiana. I mean, Louisiana looks like a different planet if you go deep enough. Trust me. Yeah, just stay out of the swamps. You'll be fine. Because you know alligators. Same reason why I'd avoid the stay out of and stay Florida. out of Florida in general. Because <laughs> you know alligators. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. It's just alligators and old people. Psyots? Psyots. That's definitely a team. This dude's doing a... Oh! It's freaking Grifter. Getting shot at by Archer. Don't worry, he can't die. I thought you said he was human. I thought I also said he had psychic powers. His psychic power is to not die. Fair enough. Oh my god. Okay, so yeah. Uh, in the previous card... Archer straight up murked Shadow Man, and Grifter has become Archer's new target. <laughs> that the shit. 
Just kills one guy and goes straight after the other. You're next. Apparently this is Toyo Harada, though. He's just a businessman. Oh. Not, doesn't have any superpowers from the look of it. He's just a CEO. Betrayal 05. Alignment, bad. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Yeah. I assume that's why all these, like, super people slash vigilantes slash mercenaries are gunning for him. <laughs> sometimes fig- li- figuratively and sometimes literally. <laughs> or maybe he's working for him. I don't know. I mean, if you pay him enough, he'll work for anyone. Grifter or Archer? Both. Are we just making a backstory for this dude named Archer? Pretty much. I don't know. Oh! Okay, so Shadow Man is apparently still alive. Yeah, I, I assume don't, Shadow Man can't die either. Well, just I don't know like why Rifter. the previous card implied that he was dead, but this one here is just like, they can't see him, but he is still alive. And he pulls himself oh, up. I guess that overweight drunk guy is named Armstrong, and he and Archer have a comic series. Oh. Huh. So, <clears throat> yeah, he's probably not going to stop drinking from the look of it. Archer got kicked by Shadow Man. You're welcome. Is Shadow Man just wearing a shirt of a dude that's a shadow? Like an actual shadow man? <laughs> Not exactly what I would be wearing if I was like a superhero, but I can appreciate him wearing the mask. I wouldn't want to be seen in it either. Oh, Why? and Grifter's unpacking. unconscious now. Boy, this is a really weird fight. Okay, yeah. Archer's name is Obadiah Archer. It's literally just the dude's freaking name. Last name, specifically. But good to know. Another Archer card. This is just Archer. Hey, hey, he has complete body control. I'm not sure what the hell that means, but... Mimic any human ability? Oh, Armstrong, the drunk dude, can't die. He's literally immortal. I wonder if the alcohol involved is involved in that. Heh. Oh, and I guess Archer, at least in this comic, uses a crossbow... Okay, so they're all in New Orleans. At least this group of people are. And yeah, I guess he just goes out of his way to kill holy people of all kinds. Who? Uh, Archer. It said his full name there. Obadiah, Obadiah. Archer. I mean, Obadiah is an interesting name. I've watched oh, Iron Man once. He's about to get chucked off a building. Shadow Man. You're such Don't a worry, badass. I think he'll be fine. <laughs> As he's oh. in this very clearly not 1990s comic. I am the knight. <laughs> I am the shadow man. He has no pant. No. Uh, He's no match. pants. <laughs> he has no. He has, has no oh pants. <laughs> uh, Archer is no match for the power of shadow man. I mean, dude just has a gun. Wait, what does shadow man have? I'm going to look him up now, too. I really hope he has the powers to turn, like, shadowy. Just blend in the uh, darkness or something. Oh, here's a solo card of a Grifter. That he also is looks like he's in pain. I think he got shot shadow in the leg. Man. Did you do a single word? Yeah, but I mean, this looks like a version of him, and it looks like the shirt oh, is yeah. also a tattoo. So he just so he can't not have that. Maybe it like expands, so it just fully got, covers his body. I also got a comic for the video game Shadow Man. Grifter's plea. Oh, okay, so I guess Shadow Man... Uh, not Shadow Man. Grifter is now awake, and he's oh, asking wait. Shadow Man not to throw him off of a building. Okay, it looks like the Shadow Man from the video games is actually the same character. So does that oh. mean those games are comic book games? Possibly. Or maybe it's like a different version of the same character? Yeah, kind of like the whole darkness thing? I didn't even know that was a comic series at first. I do not know the darkness isn't a comic... Okay! Because I played the first game, and okay, I thought it yeah. was cool. Okay, yeah, so... I've seen those Shadow Man video games. I didn't know they were based on this comic book character, though. Oh, man. It's a white Batman. I I don't really know how to say that better, but there you go. He gets filled with the dark power. Also, he's melting for some reason. What? It's it's a melting white Batman. (laughs) Be careful, I'm dripping. (laughs) Someone just, like, slips in him. (laughs) Oh, man. Death Mate Blue. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Like in the game, because, yeah, the game, I guess, those games are comic book video games. He has voodoo powers, essentially. Oh, I mean, that's pretty cool. I mean, yeah, but it looked like for when he was fighting Archer, he was just kicking his ass with his fists. Okay, so 
and throwing him off a building, which I don't recall being a voodoo power. I was thinking that was long handgun at first, but that's just a short shotgun. But yeah. Magnum. What a cool looking bike. Actually, it looks more like a scooter. He's riding a Magnum while uh, carrying a sawed-off shotgun. Yes. Chris Torkelson, the harbinger known as Ma oh, oh. Magnus. Oh, what? Okay. I guess... Uh... Yeah, it's Magnus. Wait. Uh... Huh. I guess he was uh, in a lot of gangs in New York. I guess the mayor of New Orleans in, on January 7th, 1993 proclaimed the day as Shadow Man Day. Because I, mean, I guess cool. he's a big deal in New Orleans. I mean, how many comic characters can you think of actually live or came from New Orleans? Or Gambit. Louisiana in general? Gambit. Gambit, really? Yeah, he's uh, he's pretty cool. He's from uh, Louisiana. I blow up things with cards. Probably more That's not exactly what that, he... But... It is a lot more... Like, I, I'm pretty sure I saw him actually, like, put his powers into other shit to make it explode. Yeah, he, but... he, uh, gener he can generate kinetic energy, essentially. Okay. But, yeah. Like, he can do that and make objects, like, explode with it or something. Something along those lines. I'm probably still getting it wrong without <laughs> which... I mean, yeah. Call an ambulance for you. What? <laughs> I don't know. Center call. <laughs> The doctor ain't gonna be able to reattach your face once I shoot it off. <laughs> uh, Magnus faces off against Battlestone. Oh wait, Magnus? Is that the dude's name? Yeah. And his, uh, Magnus. So did he just put his freaking name on his stupid motorcycle? No, no. His like motorcycle-looking thing is called Magnum. I did recheck that. It's still oh my name, god! But... So did he name himself after the motorcycle, kind of, or maybe the motorcycle's custom name and just sort of similar name? Because... Look, I don't care how much uh, Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven you've played. Nobody custom makes custom motorcycles. I'm just saying, that's not a thing that happens in reality because nobody likes motorcycles because they're lame. That's... What? No. People love motorcycles. Name one comic book character besides him that rides a motorcycle. Dark Rider. No. Ghost Rider? <laughs> Ghost Rider. <laughs> Ghost Rider. That doesn't count. That's a hell motorcycle. How about That's Lobo, different. then? And don't say just because... That's a space, space chopper. Baseball. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure I've seen the Ninja Turtles drive motorcycles. No. <clears throat> Those are shell cycles. <laughs> <laughs> You were just. Uh. <laughs> I'm not wrong though. They are shell cycles, I'm and I'm sure, sure there's others. Hey, hey, whoever's watching this, name the more. God. Name more superheroes that drive motorcycles for some reason. Also, at least it's not a freaking helicopter with your damn face on it. Thanos <laughs> gets arrested by New York City police officers. <laughs> Anything's better than that. They That's li just silly. He literally let them handcuff him. I mean, obviously, it's like the whole tactic that uh, Joker did in the movie. Except Joker can fit into a police car. The, like, 12-foot-tall Thanos isn't going to be able to do that. <laughs> Why did he turn himself in? I don't know. Oh, man. That comic was released before I even knew who Thanos was. I mean, it's a really goofy-looking comic, let's be real. Quick, to the Thanos copter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Batman also drove a motorcycle, if you count the live-action movies as something... That's the Bat cycle. Oh, it's not God. a motorcycle, it's part Bat. I mean, you could have called it the Batmobile... Oh, never mind. <laughs> now, Mobile is all, uh, implies that it's a car. Uh, you know, I'm, something on four wheels. I'm pretty sure Mobile just implies anything that can be mobile. The Batmobile is always a car. Except in the Dark Knight trilogy where it's a tank, which... <laughs> I don't think I've told that you that, but, but I don't it's... really like those movies very much. Yeah, it's it's they're good, but they aren't. They're amazing. okay. There's better Batman movies in the series, somewhere down the timeline, before and after. Jack Nicholson was a better Joker than Heath Ledger. <laughs> I said it. Punched Jim Carrey in the face. No, that was uh, Tommy Lee Jones. Oh, that was and Tommy that, Lee and he Jones. He was Two Face. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> My bad. Mm. I'm not the best nerd out there. Bad idea. I'm not the best nerd out there. All right. <laughs> that's, that's that's where I'm going with that one. You're welcome. Out cold. Down for the count. I mean, that's another way to say TKO. 
You're welcome. Well, he's not knocked out in this freaking picture. Oh, and since you're ignoring it, I w- uh, about Jack Nicholson being a better Joker, I will say I didn't hate Heath Ledger as the Joker. This one's- also, his Magnus got destroyed. <laughs> I mean, has anyone actually watched uh, Cesar Romero in the role in the 1960s Batman show? Isn't that the dude who, like, refused to shave his face? His mustache, yes. Mustache, yeah. Joker doesn't have a mustache, therefore he's an automatic zero out of ten. Oh, okay, it's this picture again from that Assassin's one. I don't even hate the Dark Knight trilogy. I just... I don't know. I think I liked him more when I was a teenager and was into more edgy stuff. I mean, that's fair. I liked Spawn when I was a kid. I mean, Spawn is is cool, though. I liked Punisher when I was a kid. Not the, not the later ones, but the original one. Did you know that they're not using the skull for Punisher anymore? Well, gee, I wonder why. Idiots are using it because they're stupid. A bunch of rednecks they've in been, giant trucks. At least that's what I read. Like In the past years, they've been trying to like distance themselves from the Punisher skull. Which, yeah, is probably a good idea. I would, too. Let's be real. It's not even being used correctly. Because, to be fair, he does just go around shooting people. I mean, he is straight up just, like, murdering people. Bad people, but still murdering people, nonetheless. Yeah, it is, it is technically still murder. The one who knows. Except for the ones that shoot at him. Then it's, well, does he attack first, though? Because maybe then it's self-defense in the criminal's side. I don't know. If it's anything like the movies, his family got murked, and he decided to go after that group of people that murked his family. And then he just couldn't stop. He had the bloodlust. <clears throat> yeah, it just kept going. Like, every he's bad like a, person he's has He's like to the die. Energizer Bunny of murder. <laughs> just keeps going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Strike team. Oh, it's Geoff, the Geomancer. Is, is that seriously what you call people who, like, control, has Earth powers? Yeah, it's Geomancer because, uh... That makes sense. Geo is Earth and Mancy is, like, control. Yeah. Oh, that's who Jeff is. Geoff, Jeff. Like, they said, the the, they said the Geomancer in one of the original... In one of the fir- in a couple of the first cards. Yeah, and they mentioned, mentioned Jeff. They didn't... I don't think they said it was the same dude. Yeah, until this card specifically went right for the full fucking thing. We've just been looking at, like... We're learning Ninjack stuff. and Shadow Man and fucking Grifter. We completely I mean, forgot that Joff, Jeff, Joff existed. Geoff. You know, because it sounds Geof. like Geo. Oh, God damn it. It does have <laughs> Geo in it. It's probably not actually pronounced that way, but I, I like it. So do you, uh, think, do you think he gave himself the powers then? It's oh, like, cool. well, it's in my name. I might as well do it. Okay, so they, they were... In that previous card, we're inside that little plane over there. Little? They jumped out of. I mean, it's big enough to fit this honky motherfucker. They probably should have jumped out a little further apart. They're gonna hit. They're all gonna like hit the ground around the same time and get hurt. I mean, they have parachutes. Oh, at least one. All right. Actually, why is it the only the big guy that has parachutes? Oh, okay. No, he's the only one who pulled it so far. <laughs> this is too high. I need my parachute. Everyone else is just waiting. Oh, see you guys on parachute. <laughs> see you guys in ten minutes. He'll float down a lot slower because he because he he's the geomancer, right? Yeah, he's arguably the heaviest. Then it makes sense that he would probably pull the chute first. Let's be real. Weight versus gravity. Science. Anyways, they're at this building though, as you can the tell. Geometry. And God my God, Google. this is a uh, an actually better comparison because he is very big, as you can tell. From this very tiny drawing. Also, this building's really big, too. <laughs> the target. Oh! No! I think Blondie is uh, the Geomancer. Oh! So huh. who's the big dude, then? At least I think so? Hmm. That's actually a good question. Because, I mean, he was in... You know what? It'd be easier to just look back at the first cards. Makes sense. And see which one of them is even in them. Tell me when you get to that. I'm going to keep looking here. We got some lady trying to do something. Maybe she's Oh like... my god! They're both in the other card too. Oh yeah. Okay, okay so I actually can't tell. I, I think it might be the smaller blonde dude, but... 
I literally can't tell because they're both in every goddamn card. Dude. I mean, let's be real. I just assumed it was him because he was huge. Like, what else would be because he's huge and just a big guy, some dude who can move rocks with his brain? You're the man that killed the world. Explosion. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I forgot his last name yeah. was freaking McHenry. Oh, yeah. Not to, not to like, talk shit about anyone whose last name is actually McHenry. Like, I'm sure you're a great person, but... I can't tell if this is a movement thing or if he just legitimately has four arms, but only three of them are on one side. This what the kind of, fuck? This is a weird card. Why are two of them different than the other ones, too? I like the... Two AI. of them are like, why? It's AI. AI from 1993. <laughs> yeah, God, no, I'm, I'm joking, but it, it's a weird drawing. I'll give it that. Like, this is... Josh McHenry. She looks like she's flying, like Superman style. <laughs> she? Yeah, her. Oh, her. I thought you meant the big person. It's like, I think that's just that big dude again. Yeah, th- the one that has the AI arms. I think she's the one who's <laughs> trying to stop whatever that... Yeah, explosive entrance. Okay, so these people are stuck inside whatever they just blew up, I guess. Okay, yeah. The small, the blonde dude is uh, Joff McHenry, so I don't know who the big dude is, but they're in every card together, so... That doesn't help Did much. it mention him in the other ones? I might have missed it. I'm not going to claim to be the best reader. Well, dang, I might have missed it too. Oh, hey, it's it's the, the, the white Batman, except for he has more color to him now. He has some blue. White Batman, so you mean Nemesis? Ne- Nemesis? Oh, yeah, there's a dude in an all-white, like, kind of Batman-esque outfit. He's a supervillain, and he kills people. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank this, you, Avery. Look at this really strong uh, guy who's like a hybrid of Captain America and Wolverine. Ah, the Egg Breakers. Uh, says Captain Wolverine? Egg Brigade. Captain yeah. Canada? You got real quiet when I said that. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, yeah. I They're not mentioning who the big dude is then. What the heck? Hey, he's getting frozen. Hey. <laughs> oh. Okay, so the blue and white Batman has ice powers. Good to know. <laughs> what? Yeah. That's it. I mean, he's red in this picture, but he's straight up freezing the Geomancer Why are you guy. calling him Batman, though? Because C- he literally just looks like Batman. It's oh, the exact same I thought shape. you meant him. Oh, no, not him. It's like, that guy doesn't look anything like no, freaking that, Batman. That's the guy who in the other picture looks like a weird mix of, like, Wolverine and Captain America. Captain Canada. Captain Canada. He's a giant A on his chest. Or belt. Frozen. Oh, I'm sorry. Captain Canuck. <laughs> I wasn't joking. It's a real character. <laughs> like, every country has, like, a Captain whatever. That's... This is amazing. But no, it isn't actually Wolverine, obviously, since this guy isn't, like, three feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> I always forget how short he's supposed to be. Hey, hey, Hugh Jackman is, like, six foot two. I mean, Hugh Jackman is huge. Hugh Jackman? <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, Wolverine's like canonically really fucking short. He's like five three, I think. So, or good five god, two. I'm taller than him. <laughs> That's not something I'll ever hear again. Oh, what? He got put in anim- in an animated series. He got blown up. Lieutenant Canada. Okay, so the Geomancer broke out of the ice. He's a Canadian comic book hero. You don't say. <laughs> Fire and ice. Jeff, secret team. Uh, battles Harada's Egg Breakers. Harada, my god. Harada? See that Cold Snap has... Oh, okay. I finally have a name to... Uh, Cold Snap? White Batman. It's it's Cold Snap. Yeah, I, uh... I'm just saying that his helmet is literally Batman-shaped. Like, There's I, uh, no getting it mentioned around it, that. It mentioned uh, him in... the previous card. Well, it mentioned him in a different card that I was trying to find the big dude's name in, but... Oh, okay, cool. We're finally getting a picture of this guy I've been seeing at the beginning of top of these cards for the better half of the second half. I looked up Canadian Wolverine because I was hoping it would be Wolverine in a Canadian-looking <laughs> outfit, but I just yeah. got actual pictures of Wolverines. Are there Wolverines in Canada? I don't think so. Anyways, here's Harada's lieutenant. It resembles a miniature bear. 
Oh, wait, no. Yeah, I think... Th okay, I guess there's over 10,000 mature individual uh, wolverines in Canada. So they, they're, they're in Canada, which I guess wouldn't make sense if they weren't. I mean, it's good to know that there's wolverines in Canada. Is the new Deadpool movie going to be set in Canada? I mean, Deadpool is also Canadian. Is, is he? Yeah. Uh, I don't know enough about comics. You don't know anything about comics, Jesus. I mean, yeah, you're the one who's taught me like an insane amount of stuff, and, and even just, I don't know much. There's so much to, to take people. in. Like, there's literally decades hey, upon decades. To be of fair, comics, so. comics have existed for like a hundred years before we were born. I mean, that's that's also true. And some of the storylines are still going, which is crazy to think about. Harbinger Duel. What was that? Oh, okay. okay. So that's how he got the spikes in his back, because the girl had them all wrapped up. It looked like chunks of wood. She threw chunks of everything at him. Okay, so they're wood, not spikes either. Metal. They're not, yeah, they're not spikes, but they're also not just chunks of wood. Possibly a piece of glass. Oh, shoot. Uh, let's hurry up. We're already, like, at almost the same time as the other video, but we are almost done. Yeah, so we got just a little bit more to wrapping things up. Yeah, yeah that's I what mean, we're doing. We're trying. <laughs> hey, this hey. is sideways. Oh, okay, That's that makes a lot more sense. He's getting shot by lasers. What the fuck is this? Oh, it's the big guy again. Huh. Anyways, uh, Sting Falls, Lieutenant of Harada's Egg Breakers. Oh, there we go. Pete Stancheck. Hugh Jackman is way too tall, good looking, and charming to play Wolverine. Okay, and we have uh, an idea of this guy who died. His name is Livewire. Was. <laughs> Was. He's ruthlessly murdered him. Ruthlessly. By by a lieutenant of a bad team named Pete. The team is named Pete or the lieutenant is the named Pete? The lieutenant's name is Pete. Okay, I thought the team was named Pete. <laughs> team Pete, go! No, it's, it's a Harondas. Uh, Harada? Harada's team. Haranda? Oh I'm so bad at fucking names. You're, you're, you're pronouncing his name differently every time you say it. I think, <laughs> I've lost track of how many different it's, ways it's, it's you've Harada, said it. It's Harada, and I'm sorry, okay? Disarmed. But yeah, that's Pete. Lieutenant Pete of the... Harada's bad guys. Group. Wait, so fucking Lieutenant Pete gets a costume too? Did yeah. he just whine about it until they gave him a costume? Yep. But apparently he's dead, so it didn't really do him much good. Wait, he's dead, right? Yeah. Oops. Oh, what? They gave him a gun too? Oh, okay, so that's the guy. With the so he is supposed to have three arms on one side. Oh. Yeah, it's that guy. Okay, so. And I guess his name's Strike. He had three guns. And he still can fucking shoot the one guy this with man a goddamn has, okay, arrow. Okay, so this man has four arms, three of them being on the same side. So that wasn't uh, that wasn't just a weird animation thing. He just has three arms on one side. I of mean, his I damn assume they're supposed to be representing that they were moving fast or no, something. It, wasn't. it was just weird drawing, but they would have had to be moving fast sideways though, though, uh, not straight ahead. And all so right. Why would they be facing? Not facing okay. the way they're going. This guy needs to be more consistent. He's looking different in, like, damn near every fucking card. Hey, hey, hey. That's the Wolverine and Captain America guy. Yeah, I, I see the A in the, in the sideburns. <laughs> and, and nameless dude we're still trying to figure out the name to. But, uh, Powerhouse is... Powerhouse? Is that the good, Is that his name? Uh, Battle Between Geoff. That's Powerhouses. Strike Force and the Egg Breakers, because that's the bag team. I wasn't joking about the Egg Breakers. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna look up the egg breakers. Wait, no, those are the bad guys. It's Stronghold might be his name. Stronghold. Stronghold, Stronghold goes toe to toe, equally, uh, with the equally enormous, enormous Atlas. <laughs> My God, I can't fucking. So is he Stronghold oh, or Atlas? Okay, I think the that oh. must be Atlas. So he's Stronghold. No, Obviously but it says he's he would be Stronghold because it says he's going toe to toe with Atlas. That guy's not going toe to toe with with anything but a goddamn migraine. Yeah, he got a headache. Got so, some aspirin in the morning. I still don't. We still don't know who that guy is. Ah. Oh yeah, because it's huh. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's uh, the the dude in the white outfit is stronghold. So who is the huge dude? Oh my god. <laughs> I thought that was supposed to be Geoff. I don't even know anymore. This is getting hard to keep up with. 
And why is that bad guy a group called the Freaking Egg Breakers? I don't know, but I love it. I don't. <laughs> Alignment, bad. Yeah, I'd be pretty bad if I had that name too. Nerve Center. Oh, they're psychic. There are a lot of psychic characters in these comics. Yeah, there is. Yeah, there is. Yeah, there is. <laughs> mm. Hey. Yeah. Oh, cool. We finally get a picture of Toyo Harada. Aside from the one you showed earlier. Is that him? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's him. That doesn't look anything like the picture I showed you earlier. Harada knows. Does he, though? Does he knows? No. Well, okay, so it says GF has made it into Harada's personal chambers. So was that him? That that weird, like, monk-looking dude from the earlier picture with the bowl cut? This is GF? So no, I thought it was the... Oh, my God. I'm so confused. Okay, I, I'm losing track of all these heroes. Hey, Solar, I at least know who you are. This guy's got a cell phone from, like, the eight... The fuck? Well, power... The power just went out for, like, three seconds. That, oh, was, that was weird. Re that was really weird. Let's hurry. <laughs> Oh, God, we're almost 40 minutes in, and this is the second video. We are... With Enter Solar. Solar. Yeah, this isn't friggin' Dark Souls. Now, come on. Here's Solar flying some more. Yep. Solar flying sounds like a fun sport. <laughs> it's a good... What's solar flying? A good way to get around town. That's what it is. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yes. Throws a boulder. Flaming one. Well, rock beats fire. Oh, I thought he was throwing the rock at the fire. Supreme Actually, that effort. sounds really stupid. In Alberta, Canada, an oil well fire. Hey, Avery, how about you stop that? Thanks. You're fine, little dude. No, he's not. I think he's worried about the darkness. Oops. Because, you know, we can completely do something about that. We really can't. There you go. You get it. You're getting it. You're getting it. With a little help. With a little help from my friends. Supreme's brute force, so... Is, is the big guy named Supreme? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm surprised he doesn't have the Supreme logo on his chest. <laughs> I mean, his outfit is white and red. Isn't that what... Isn't it the colors of su the Supreme logo, too? <laughs> <laughs> You're right, actually. Oh! That hey, was... It's that guy that... Oh! Okay, he, so these I was two wrong. Are beating him up. The guy... That is Eclipse, then. Okay. Good. So, all right, so... Solar versus Eclipse? Oh! <laughs> yeah, there it uh, is again. It's the... It's that really familiar picture that I can't place. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I know what you're talking about. No, you Wait. don't. What the hell? Booyakasha. Also, there's a back to this card that we didn't look at yet. Oh, shit, it's dark again. Eclipsed. Okay. Anyways, from this one here. Why does uh, Master Dark just look like one of those weird li little uh, paper cups from the 90s Eclipsed that you told. get at, like, the store? He does. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> Saved. What? You mean Master Dark is a bad guy? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, I am making a mess here. Okay, okay so the first okay, thing was that. like 33 minutes. This one is 40, basically. We are down to the last card, though. Sorry about the mess over there. Uh, maybe we should have made this into three videos. Ah, it's like three 20-minute videos or something. This, this is fine. Uneasy Allies. Uh, and can... that's that's it. That's it? Yeah, that's... This would probably have all made a lot more sense if we'd read these, if we had read, like, these comics, assuming they, these actually came from comics. Because, again, I, it's, I don't know, it's hard to find any information about these cards specifically, but, yeah. I guess this, these were, like, Valiant and Image comic characters. And this specifically was the Deathmate Atlas cards. Uh, yeah, there we go. The... The death mate. So yeah. The death battle. Thanks for watching. That was superheroes that I have literally no idea who any of them are except for Grifter. Because you told me about them a while back. 
Yeah, yeah it's hopefully, interesting, hopefully our next card video will not be <laughs> quite as long as either of these have been. Like, this has just been... Good amount of art? Dab, yeah, we spent way too much time on these. It's still fun. Well, yeah. Anyway, before this gets too long, we'd like to thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time.